Hi friends, it's Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. I have kind of a fun little video for you today. Um, I am going to be unboxing a Happy Mail from my cousin Sue. And I don't usually do these on camera, but I just felt like I wanted to this time because my cousin Sue um, sends me the best care packages ever. And they're just such a spirit booster I thought that might be fun to share it with you I love unboxing videos and haul videos like everybody else does but I know this is always different than those because um, my cousin Sue will send me anything and everything and she's always makes me laugh so just a really quick little Sue intro um, my cousin Sue and I are uh, actually second cousins she's the baby of the family and my mom was her older cousin um, they're actually cousins so she grew up with the generation ahead of me and so she and I really didn't connect until she retired and she was making books and I was doing my thing and over the last few years we have become thick as thieves and she's become such a special person to me because she just we just have so many similarities in the things we love and she she knows so much about my family that I don't even know so whenever we're together she st shares stories of my grandparents and my my parents and um I don't know she's I'm gonna get all wishy-washy and sappy here but her being in my life right now has just been amazing and she is the most selfless person I know and she has a shelf in her studio called the Michelle you know because my name is Michelle and she rescues all these old things and she puts them on the shelf and she finds art supplies and she puts them on the shelf and she has gifts and she puts them on the shelf and then when she thinks I need a boost she just mails me a box full of them and boy they're awesome and the first time she did this was um, a couple of years ago she filled a big wooden art box filled with presents and I actually made that last for a month. Like I would open a little present every day. It was amazing. And this box is ginormous. Um, so I'm not going to keep it on the desk. But I am going to open it because I think it's going to be fun to see what's inside. And if you know my cousin Sue, anything could be inside. So she sent me a lovely little note, which I'm not going to read on camera. But she sent a picture. And this is my grandfather, my Pepe who I adored, and this is her dad, Reggie. And I just, just seeing their little faces pop out of the card was just a little boost of sunshine. So I'm just gonna put a few things down and see what happens. Oh, one of those butterflies that flies. Oh my gosh, I've loved these. Let me see if I can get it to fly. I always wonder how these work. I think you put it under something and then then they fly it didn't quite fly sue but i'll get it to fly that's so cool so she and i have been um talking about uh recipes family recipes and i think she sent me and i'm gonna have to ask her one of the recipe books that may have been in our family or she rescued this one i don't know which but it is cool look at that Look at this beautiful little postage thing. Like the, what a great recipe book. Don't you love old recipe books and the colors on the pages are just so like muted and presto cooker. Oh, it's the presto cooker. Oh, it's the pressure cooker. <laughs> it's like our Instapot, right? That's awesome. Okay, now I have a little envelope. So Sue is the such a great bookmaker, and she makes books of all sides. Look at this little book. Look at the binding on that book. And the, the gold ribbon. Oh, and look at this little wall. Is it wallpaper? It looks like it could be origami paper. Oh, my gosh. Look how cute this little book is. Thank you, Sue. I love all her little handmade books. Well, she makes big books, too. But her bindings, just they just kill me. 
I need to have a binding weekend with her. She sent me some paper and a little envelope of, let's see, it looks like stickers. They are, look at, pretty little vellum stickers. Very pretty. Oh, and a couple prezzies. I can only imagine. <laughs> now, remember I told you anything could be in here? Like, this is what I mean. It's just like all about the happy, happy, happy. <laughs> How can you be unhappy when you write with that? Oh, thank you, Sue. All right, let's see what's in this little package. She closes them with these little sticker dots, but they got on here, so he looks like two little eyes. I might have to make two little eyes on this dude. <laughs> and of course, it's beautiful paper that I'm going to salvage. Oh, 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 look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, look at these mushrooms. Oh my gosh. Look at these charms, guys. Oh my God. She and I are obsessed with mushrooms and her woods are packed full of them. She's in Vermont and I don't know. There's just something about where the ecosystem she is. She grows magical things in her forest. Oh my gosh, those are so cute, Sue. And this is really cool washi tape and constellation washi tape. I love that it says for kids. <laughs> it's totally for kids. It's totally for me. That's really cool. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this before. Have you ever seen book corners with hearts on them? That is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love that. Those are so cool. And little stickers, really pretty little stamp stickers with botanicals on them. Little botanical stamps. Very cute. Oh my gosh, I love all those supplies. I would totally use all those supplies, Sue. Okay. How exciting is a present that's wrapped up in paper and string? And of course, she wraps everything so that I can reuse it, which I really appreciate. And this paper is like, it's so cool. It's totally going to be an, um, some mixed media thing I do. You never, ever know what is going to be inside a, a something from Sue. Oh, and she has a note in here. <laughs> she says, unless you can read Chinese instructions, and they're sparse, this slug t turns on with buttons on the bottom and you pinch his eyes together to turn him on and off and adjust his brightness. I have no idea how to set the timer. May the odds be in your favor. <laughs> I'm telling you. I am going to tag my friend Betsy on this. I'm literally dying and you push this. All right, I don't know how I'm gonna, like she's right, it's all in Chinese. But there's a, a cord and you push his eyes together to turn him on and off. That is hysterical. 
Oh my God, I'm dying. Sue, thank you. <laughs> I told you, I warned you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's like a broke. It's like a a dick. I'm like a brocade. It's like old wallpaper. It's got to be old wallpaper that's in here. I know she sources a lot of stuff from Amazon Warehouse, so I don't know if that's the same. Like, a lot of the old stuff obviously comes from places around her. Oh my gosh, what is this? Is it oil cloth? It might be old oil cloth. That is amazing. Look at this texture, it's almost like, I, Look, it looks like linen in the back. I think it's like oil cloth. It, it can't be wallpaper. I mean, this is like fabric. This is so cool. This is ending up on a book somewhere. So literally everything that you get from Sue, you can reuse. <laughs> Uh-oh. Look at that cute little box. Oh. My God. <gasps> now this is the kind of stuff you get. You get a box full of treasures. Oh my God. It's like, who else would you get a slug from in vintage paper? <laughs> wow. Look at, oh, this is from Mexico. A hotel tag from Mexico. Oh, and these... Sue, you didn't have to give these to me. These are actually recipes written in in um, my Aunt Dolores' handwriting. These were hers. Sue, I'm going to scan them, but you're going to get them back because I can't keep these. Oh, my gosh. We're talking about making, or I'm talking about making an old family um cookbook and I want them all to be scanned in their original writing. I don't want to retype them. Oh, rice pudding, creole salad. Oh, that's my grandmother. Oh, so. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. These are awesome. <laughs> Mayonnaise cake. I'm sure that's a thing. The funny thing is, our family's very French Canadian. And um, I wouldn't say that cooking is, you know, French Canadian food is not known to be like the most amazing food in the world. But they were good bakers. <clears throat> and Sue shared a story with me about my grandmother and how she always used to have the latest um, recipe from the uh, from the magazines. So no French Canadian would be uh, cooking Creole, I don't think. V8 juice, chopped onions, grain powder, pimento, cucumbers, gelatin. Oh my gosh, a jello salad. That's what they are. Rhubarb cake dessert. That's so my childhood. Oh my gosh, these are awesome mince meat cookies. Sue, thank you so much. I am going to scan these and I am going to send them back to you. Um, oh, another one from my grandmother. Chicken dressing. I'm assuming dressing, meaning stuffing. Banana cake. And that's interesting because my other grandmother used to make banana cake that I'm I'm hearing from. And look at how my great aunt spelt banana. That's the amazing thing about my family is that if you looked at their lives, these are people who, 
who had very little education, who did not finish high school, maybe not even elementary school. So their spelling wasn't the most amazing, but they did amazing things in life, amazing things. And had their own businesses and, you know, they just did, they were amazing people. And I think recipes and the way people live just is, just honors them. And this means so much to me. Thank you, Sue. Oh boy. This is a cook. Oh, oh my God. I'm going to have to ask you, is this on Dolores's? Look at this. This book. She has it written in the memorandum, has real recipes throughout. Oh my God. It is falling apart, but it is amazing. I, I bet you this is. I'm going to have to ask Sue. Oh my gosh. I'm like literally laughing and tears are coming down my face because this is so special. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. It oh my God. This is my... Oh my God. Is this my... Is this great grandma's? Sue, we're going to have to have a chat. This this is precious. Mm. Oh, thank you so, 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 so much. Oh, my gosh. Look at the binding on this, everyone. Look how old that is. And it's like... Oh, to know that my, my family was holding this 75, 100 years ago, 50 years ago, cooking with this amazing I'm telling you when you get a box from Sue you never know what's going to be inside and it always brings me to tears literally laughing and crying Whew, okay I need a moment <laughs> okay all right another little box so much little sticky I think this is vellum. I think she literally wrapped this in vellum. Which it is. It's, it's vellum. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is in here? Oh, Sue makes angels just for fun. And she made me an angel. She makes them out of old beads and oh, love it, Sue. I'm gonna hang it right over my work area. Remind me of you. <sighs> okay. I think this is a rule of whatever that other thing was. Sue, what is this? This can't be wallpaper. It's so thick. This, it is wallpaper. Holy. <laughs> oh my gosh. What are these? Oh my gosh. They're... <laughs> I think these fly up in the air. You shoot them in the air. Oh my gosh. We will do this with the boys. She sent one for all of us. We can have fun playing with these outside. Oh, there's lights on them too. What the? Who the? What the? Oh my gosh. These are some kind of little thing that you twist and there's a little light on them and they go up in the air. See, I'm telling you, it's, it's just, it's hysterical. These are great. Thank you, Sue. We're going to have fun. We'll do these on Christmas. Thank you. And of course, more awesome packaging. And there's more. Some pretty stationery. Which will totally... Oh, look, it's got gear. This is great for like a, a Christmas junk journal. Isn't that pretty? And like envelopes. 
very cool. Oh my God. Another little wrap package. It's like Christmas here. This is like my Christmas before Christmas. And everything she wraps in, I'm like, oh my God, why did you use that? Because she probably has so much, but I'm gonna try to save as much as possible because I'll reuse it. It's this, this paper here. There's some kind of cards. She knows that I love using playing cards. Oh, look at, they're all like um, uh, Zodiac. Those are cool. Those are really cool. That's gonna actually look really cool in, in one of my Asian inspired jewel, uh, journals. Look at that cat. That's really neat. Oh, I love the rabbit. I don't know where she gets this stuff. She's always on um, Amazon Warehouse. I'm not sure if that's where she finds it. It kind of reminds me a little bit of something from AliExpress, but I don't think she uses that. Look at that envelope polo, my friend. Oh, little envelopes. Love them. And then lots of little colored envelopes. Those are great. And these will, I'm going to move because those are going to go right into my Christmas inspiration box that I'm working from right now. Okay, people, don't judge. If you know me, I'm a super healthy eater, like super healthy. And I don't really eat candy and sweets aren't my thing. But I have a un healthy and unnatural love of marshmallow circus peanuts. I blame my grandfather. He's the one who got me into these. And I think the smell of them and the texture and everything just reminds me of him. Hold on. I have to have one. I haven't had breakfast yet. This is going to be the breakfast of champions. I mean, really, there is nothing natural about this, and I know it. Mm. I don't, I don't freaking care. Oh my God. I, sh I, I just gotta smell them. Oh my God. You ever have something that's like your childhood right there? This right here, right here. And as much as it's everything I don't eat, I will eat every single one of these puppies. Oh my God. Sue, so, you get me. You really get me. Mm. Okay. This has got to be my little favorite package so far. Look at this fabric, this little turtle fabric. And this. Look at this fabric. Oh my gosh. How adorable. And she always puts stuff in these awesome little boxes. Like every part of the box is usable. Your mission, should you accept it? Oh, uh-oh. It's a phone drive. This feels so mission impossible. Cue the music. <laughs> Boop. All right, people, I will update you on what is on this thumb drive. Oh my gosh. Sue, you kill me. This, can't wait to look at what's on that. Yes, there's still things in this box, people. Can you believe it? Okay. Oh. She posted about this. First of all, this is a vintage box from an old store in um, Burlington, where all my family is from. And I don't know, see, I'm gonna shake the camera, so I'm gonna try to hold it. Do you see this? The name of the business is called The Old Beehive. Isn't that not the most sweet name ever? 
I love that. <gasps> Look at these treasures. Old cards. Now, these have nothing to do with my family. She she just found these. So, um, this is not sentimental personally, but it's just all beautiful sentimental stuff of somebody else's. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at this tag. Look at that. That's, that is so cool. So you're going to have to remind me where you saved this from. I think you got this off the of Marketplace. I think she found this person maybe getting rid of this stuff on Marketplace. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is such an amazing piece. More little cards. Oh, so sweet. Oh, and a little prayer book. Look at the look at the like um the glaze on that or the cover on that. Best witches and good luck from Doris Jack Month Forte. And I just butchered that name. And Mary Jane. Oh, look at that. This is a very sweet little first communion gift. cousin what this was because she posted a picture of the glot of this online this was a ring holder at the wedding you put the ring in there and the ring carrier gave it to the groom oh my gosh look at the little bell that is so special oh my gosh I love that I have never seen one of these Sue thank you for sharing this with me a treasure oh my gosh did it click I don't want to like force it maybe it wasn't ever clicked oh my gosh that is amazing so this is somebody's all their little treasures their cards when they had baby and their wedding ring holder and confirmation and First Communion, oh, how special and sweet. These will be beautiful in a project, in a baby book or, oh my gosh, I remember getting these, these like padded First Communion. Oh, look at that little guy, look at him. Oh my gosh. My first communion picture. So it was a little boy. So this might have been the mom who saved all of this. This must be a baby boy. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that with the ribbon. The parents of the baby. Oh, these are sweet. And then this is the birth. October 19th, 1946. Sue, so those are, that's an amazing box of treasures. Thank you so much for giving that to me. You are so, so generous. Okay, we still have a couple more things. This is interesting. It's a pad of paper. I don't know, she might have made this. She probably did. But if she, even if she didn't, what a great construction piece this is. Oh, 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 oh. now I have a future project. This is a terrific construction piece. This is going to show up in a video. <clears throat> Look how simple this is, this matchbook journal. But it is really... All right, that's future inspiration right there. See? A box full of inspiration, sentimental items, circus peanuts, and a glow-in-the-dark slug. Amazing. Just for me. Just for me. Uh-oh. Those little flying butterflies. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Sue. Thank you so much. 
these are definitely going to be in future happy mails and i can't wait i was just talking to someone about these the other day i can't wait to try them out <clears throat> and then in the bottom of the box she has lined the box with materials i can use in books and she's shared with me some beautiful paper some beautiful looks like wrapping paper with birds on it that definitely could be fussy cut or collaged gorgeous gorgeous oh my gosh look at this fabric how awesome is that these elephants I know who has their eye on this, Sharon. Oh my gosh, those are so, I love the color too. And then old, what is this? Oh, this is one of those old Christmas books. The Louis Allaire Messenger, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh, look at that, look at that picture. These, this is perfect, it's so tattered. Oh, these black and whites are fabulous. Um, this is like beautiful for using in projects. Look at the colorized picture there. Oh, that's awesome. Now this I might cut out and just put on my wall because that is beautiful. There's poems and songs. Look at this. Oh, Sue, what can I say? I hope you don't mind, Sue, that I shared this with everyone, but your boxes are always so full of love and surprises and treasures. And um, I do struggle this time of year, and maybe other people are too. And if just for a couple minutes they can enjoy a Miss Shelf box with me, I hope it makes other people happy. And Sue, what can I say? You know I adore you. And... I am so, so grateful for you in my life, and um, I'm going to wish everybody right now, I hope you have a good day. I hope this season brings miracles and surprises your way, and um, I hope you enjoy this video. Love to you all. Thank you, Sue.